In this video, we purchased this 10,000 square foot mansion and our goal is to save anything left behind. Let's get to work. Well, we arrived at our new flooded mansion and it doesn't seem like much because it's underwater, but we're going to take care of this place and get everything out, including those two vehicles over there. It looks like we got a G-Wagon and then also some sort of SUV. So we brought over a Wrecker, a Mac Anthem connected to a massive swing boom on a 200 foot cable, super strong cable. So we can pull those out of the water. The pressure is going to be crazy. So we got a lot of work to do, but this is going to help us get the job done. We've got a submarine. If we have to do some recon work, if something gets stuck, we could take the submarine on over, go scuba diving, which we're going to have to do to hook it up anyhow. And we've got the excavator. So we've got a massive bucket and the plan is to completely destroy this house after we're done with it because we own all the land right here. And we're going to turn it into a lake. We're going to go boating on it. As soon as we get that house out of there, this place is going to be a new hot spot for boating. So now that you guys know the plan, let's get to work. First things first, let's get in the submarine. Last time we were in this submarine, we were at our flooded garage, and that was an underground garage. We found three different supercars, which was an awesome find, and that's why I decided to come back out to no man's land to find these flooded properties. Years and years ago, there was a massive storm that rolled through, and all the systems that would drain it stopped working, so it flooded the entire area. But here we go. We got to jump out real quick. Let's see if we can actually hop onto the wing of the sub. And we can hook it up to the back of the trailer hitch. It's got one. Perfect. All right. We're going to hook it up, wrap it around, hop back in the sub, head back into land. And we're going to go ahead and bring this thing into land. The vehicle, that is. We got to just get over to the Mac Anthem and start winching. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Oh, that's a lot of pressure. Okay, let's slow it down a little bit. We might have to lower the boom, but it looks like so far the weight distribution's pretty good. There we go. Keep bringing it in. All right, let's lower the boom down. Perfect. Now it's level. We can bring the car in. The garage door closed. Oh, it must have fell. It was sitting on the vehicle, but this thing is full of water. You can see the cable's just dragging it now. There we go. Fast winch it. Yeah, this, this truck's holding up pretty well. We got the supports down. There's four supports. All right, right there. That's what we can do. And then, all right, now let's crane it on over to land and we can uh, take off from there. This is actually the tricky part, but here we go. Swing it around. Look at how efficient this is. This is perfect. All right, now that we got it on land, we can go ahead and detach this winch. Looks good. Look at that. We already got the first one back to the main ground. Next up, we got the G-Wagon. It's actually a six by six. Let's hop in the sub and go attach it up. This works out great, and I'm sure that people could hire us for their own house if it gets flooded to go save some stuff. This could be a new business. Let me know if you guys would like to see that, but let's approach the G-Wagon with caution. I think it might be runnable still because the engine's above the water. It hasn't gone any higher than this. The level's been good, so here we go. We're on the sub, and then let's go ahead and attach the winch. Perfect. Look at that cable. That is so strong. That should be able to pull it. This vehicle is twice as heavy as that Toyota 4Runner, so we've got to be very careful. We got to make the right calculations. Let's go ahead. We got to hop back into the crane. I'd say best suggestions are to swing it back around, keep it straight and level. Since this vehicle still runs. Wait, why did the garage close? Okay, that's not good. I think we're going to have to put a piece of wood underneath the stopper. That way the garage doesn't fall down because they just keep falling. Their tracks are soaking wet. There we go. Push it up. Come on. All right. I'm going to put a piece of wood right there. Looks good. All right, we should be able to pull it out now. Here it goes. All right, it's actually doing really well. I think the steering might be a little off, but look at this thing. It's just going right across the water. All right, a little more, a little more, and then we're going to swing it around that way behind. Looks good. All right, right about there looks good. Perfect. All right, crane mode. Swing it around town. Here we go. On to the land you go, G-Wagon. Perfect. That was a lot easier than I thought. Okay, let's hop in and see if this thing starts. Uh, keys should be in it. Most people leave their keys in the car. Let's see. Sunfold. Yep. Okay, got it. I got the keys. Here we go. Fire it up. Come on. Can't get enough starter here. All right, here at three, two, one. And there we go. Give it gas. Give it gas. All right, it's running. It's running. It had a little bit of water in the exhaust, but we got it out. The fuel tank, we had to burp that too. We had to get all the water and the air out of that, but it worked good. Perfect. All right, let's get the winch unattached here. That went really smooth. And the thing is running, so we're going to let it actually warm up a little bit here let's take it for a spin oh not in the water while it was sitting in the garage it was perfect level because the garage is actually more level than the lake right here or i guess the bottom of this the garage is elevated so that's why it was sitting like that we just dragged it through and it was above the engine for maybe less than 10 seconds so it didn't hurt it now this thing runs perfectly all right well we got a three hundred thousand dollar g-wagon i think that's uh 
That's pretty good. We purchased this place for 1.5 million. So we're getting there. All right. Well, we've already hit these car garages. That's four car garage. And then if you go around the other side of the mansion, there's another four car garage. There's eight car garage at this property. It is insane. Like I said, 10,000 square feet. So we're going to go around to this side. Actually, I got my scuba gear on. Let's go for a little dive here. Oh, it looks like I see something. Here we go. All right. Go to the top of the water. Perfect. Oh, we got a Ferrari, boys. Oh, look at this thing. This is sweet, but it's definitely flooded. Okay. Well, this is the last vehicle of them all. We could pull this one out, see what the status is on it. We may be able to save some parts. It doesn't look too rusty. So, all right, let's bring the big wrecker around to this side and we're going to try and pull this thing out. It's probably full of water though. It's going to be a mission. Here we go. This might be the longest distance. Oh, oh, the truck is dragging. Okay. This is not going to be good. We're not on good pavement. So I have this set up so that this support will hit the tree and it'll give us an extra balance so that if this thing starts pulling us. All right, here we go. We're going to try and get it around the tree. All right, it's going back and that should lock us in place. There we go. All right, the truck won't go any further back. That is supporting us. And this thing is coming in slowly but surely. Look at that thing just bouncing around. All right, that's not good, though. A lot of those parts are going to be damaged, but this thing is bringing it in. All right, a little more. Come on. Oh, this is a lot of weight. Why would a supercar have so much weight in it? It's got to be the water. A little bit more. Come on. About five more feet, and we'll drag it around onto the land. Here we go. Swing it around. Get it up onto land. Come on, a little more. There we go. Here it is, the Ferrari SF90. I've seen one of these, but this one... Yeah, this one's going to have uh, no motor in it pretty soon. We're going to have to yank it out. It's a total mess back there, full of water. Look, you can't even see in. It's so dirty, and the car, I don't want to open the doors. Uh, it's it's just full of water, too. We got to make an insurance claim on this thing. And yeah, that is, uh, that is our rescue. So like I said, phase two, we're going to be wrecking this bad boy. So let's get on over to the excavator, and it can actually withstand the height of the lake. So we have no problem with there. The engine will be above it. And we can wreck this house down, man. Let's get rid of it. We've got a massive bucket to get the job done. Here we go. Let's fire up the caterpillar. Let's go ahead and raise the bucket up. Perfect. Let's launch this thing, man. Oh, what a beast. I love diesel-powered engines. All right, here we go. Swing it around. First things first, to say we take care of the rock over here. It's not looking too good. There's a little chunk of land. Let's get it knocked out, and then we'll go over to the main house and destroy that thing. But yeah, other than that, that's just going to be the rest. We saved a couple vehicles. The G-Wagon we made the most money on. The 4Runner is going to have some issues, but we can get it running again. And the Ferrari, man, that thing's toast, but we'll make some money on parts. Here we go, swinging around town. We're actually going to dump it right in the lake. So there we go. We got the island taken care of. Now we're going to go on to the main house. We're going to get this thing racked down, and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's all done. Well, guys, we are almost done. We got a little bit more. We got some studs over here we got to take care of. Let's go ahead, raise up the bucket, and destroy this thing. We had to pull all the roofing off this. It was really hard to just take the bucket, so we had to leave this part for the end. Here we go. Let's destroy this thing, man. See you later. And with a snap of my fingers, it is gone. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you want to see us go explore more abandoned, flooded mansions, remember, hit the like button below. It shows me you like it and you want to see more. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.